ago, searchers scoured the bottom of the Churchill River with side-scanning sonar. They were looking for three men lost over Muskrat Falls. When they reviewed the footage from the search, they found something unexpected. We were looking for something completely different, not a, not a submarine, not a U-boat. I mean, no one ever believed that was possible. So, no, it was a great, uh, great feeling when we found it. At first glance, it's hard to spot the submarine on this sonar image of the riverbed. When you put it next to a drawing of the boat, some of the features become a lot clearer. Here's what convinced the searchers. In the middle, they see a conning tower that sticks up from the main hull. From there, it appears there are wires running to the front and back of the boat. At the bow, those shadows would be the snorkels used by the diesel engines to charge the batteries. That is, if it's a submarine. It's 150 feet long, 30 meters, exactly what our side scan sonar shows. So it, it, we're pretty sure it is. And uh, we, we followed this with receiver ships and wrecks, and they, they, I think they're confirming that it is possibly a U-boat. How this boat ended up in the Churchill River is anyone's guess. It's quite a ways inland, more than 100 kilometers from the ocean. Submarines did operate in the waters off Labrador, and U-boat wrecks have been found in Newfoundland. More than a dozen U-boats are still unaccounted for. The story of a U-boat beaching in the Churchill River is the subject of a novel written in the early 1990s. In that story, the crew defects. Over the years, many have taken this fictional story to be fact. And now the question is, is there any truth to that story? Uh, a lot of U-boat uh, crews may have thought about it. A few did it, and uh, if that is a trace of uh, one of the crews that uh, said, uh, we'll leave the war to others, uh, it's very well possible. If the German government agrees Corbin wants to head back out onto the Churchill River, he'll use a remote-operated vehicle to go down and take a closer look at the sub, and he hopes to be able to answer the question once and for all, is there a submarine at the bottom of the Churchill River? Peter Cowan, CBC News, Happy Valley Goose Bay.